One is I wanted to look at the, the whole debate about um, the demographic transition in a geographic way. Often many textbooks discuss the de demographic tr transition, um, you know, the early stages, high birth rates, high death rates, moving through to um, uh, long life expectancy and uh, low birth rates. That's the general demographic transition. And I wanted to use that geographically to show you how different things, uh, uh, different phases of the transition impact different parts of the world. So for example in much of sub-Saharan Africa are still at the stages of high fertility and high death rates. In other parts of the world, Brazil, China for example, India, they're at the period of the, what's referred to as the demographic dividend where there's lots of people aged between uh, 20 and 65. They're in the productive labor force years. So one of the, the so the demographic sources of tremendous growth in India, Brazil and China is this demography. Meanwhile, countries such as Japan, the US and parts of Northwest Europe are in the greying years when there's a significantly higher proportion of older people, which puts pressure on all sorts of social welfare benefits, the debates about social security in the United States. So in other words, I wanted to use population and the demographic transition in a much more wider geographic sense to understand what's going on in the world. I also use population in the second way to discuss I issues of population, overpopulation, uh, and the connection between population and resources. So population was also a way to look at resource depletion and resource use. Um, so population became this way of looking at a whole variety of, of uh, real human environment relations.